Hey guys, what's going on? I, I know I haven't done, I've done one episode review on this episode, of, or uh, this season of The Ultimate Fighter, but I wanted to get my two cents on this one. Um, just because of the events that have happened so far, the volleyball game, you know, this whole season they've been building, 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 Rampage and Rashad against each other with the, you know, going back and forth, and it, you know, if I hadn't known... Um, before the season that Rampage wasn't going to fight him, I'd be so pumped right now. This might have been one of the biggest builds to... This might be one of the best builds to one of the best fights in UFC history. You know, they had the volleyball tournament, and it was a close match, and you knew... They, they're just both so competitive. Both so competitive. The thing I didn't like about after this is, like, both of them talk a lot of shit. You know, both of them are confident and borderline cocky. That's both of them. I've never liked Rashad. I've always liked Rampage. And I've never been able to put my finger on why that is. But <clears throat> when Rampage lost... And Rashad came over and just started rubbing it into his face. Like, you lost a volleyball game. It just... That is why I don't like Rashad. And that's why I don't like Rashad. He's a sore winner. <laughs> Which you don't see often. But he is... He's not just competitive. He is... He not only hates to lose, he just constantly is a jackass. He constantly rubs people's... When he wins, he rubs people's face in it. And when he loses, he makes excuses. And Rampage never... Seemingly never does that to me. I, I, I just don't get that vibe from him. It may be like a personal feeling, but Rampage never, when he loses, is like, well, yeah, I got knocked out. What can I say? You know, I come out and I throw hands. Sometimes it happens. But Rashad, it's like, well, I did this and I did that. And sometimes it doesn't happen. It doesn't go your way sometimes. But then when he wins, he just, he takes it and he just, just slams it in your face. And he just won't, he's unrelenting when he wins. And it's those kind of people that just piss me off. And that's why Rashad is just irritating to me. Um, but anyways, we're about to see the... Uh, the other thing that got me about this episode is that, uh, you know, a guy that he trains with, um, Brandon Schaub, actually trains with at Greg Jackson's, and then he's got uh, another John Madsen, and they could edit it this way, but they're both on his team, right, and they're fighting against each other. I have yet to see the fight, and I'll comment after that, but this, and he's like, oh. You know, Brennan, I can't give you advice. We, I need to stay neutral in this whole thing because you're both on my team. So then he, and it could be editing, I don't know. But he leaves the cage when Brennan asks his advice. But then he's given tips to uh, John Madsen outside the cage for seemingly the whole practice, which seems odd to me. You're going to say, well, you know, I can't do that. I, I, need to, I need to be impartial, you know. But then at the same practice, you know, he's training by himself, Brandon, and then you're coaching this dude completely, knowing that Brendan is a teammate of yours, an actual teammate. Like, he actually trains with you at Greg Jackson's Academy. That just doesn't seem right to me, but I'll uh, I'll continue this video blog after the fight is over. So Dan White gives his uh, "Are you a fucking fighter?" speech, um, slightly modified, <laughs> and aimed towards Matt Mitrioni because Mitrioni. <laughs> Listen, I I am not in in his position, but come on, man. Really, my brain is swelled, man. I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't, uh, I'm 
may have to drop out. Like, you know, I gave my all in the first fight, but, you know, I, I might have to drop out. If the doctors say you're all right, you're all right. That's the way it is. You continue to fight. <laughs> I've never seen any other actual fighter say, well, I'm like, I don't know, man. The only thing that could stop them was a doctor. And if a doctor's not going to stop you, whatever. Um, but we got to get, get to the main event, uh, uh, main fight, which is uh, um, John Madsen against Brandon Schaub. Brandon Schaub's striker. He has seven and a half inches of reach. And being a striker, he should be able to keep him at bay and work his strikes. We got, you know... 12 minutes left. Um, figure 5 minutes it goes to 52 plus 2 minutes, 54. You gotta figure it ends in the second round. I gotta figure Shaw by submission probably. That's what I figure. Um, if it was longer, I would probably say Madsen by decision. I gotta go with Shaw by submission or TKO in the second round, but we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. So Madsen comes in. First round, takes him down. Doesn't really do anything. Uh, second round, it comes in and, you know, uh, it's kind of tired. Shaw didn't do anything uh, the first round. He didn't do anything with strikes. He didn't throw any feints. Really didn't throw any leg kicks or anything. For being a striker, he doesn't really throw a lot. But anyways, he's tired. Um, but... It, he pushes him against the, the uh, against the cage, uh, throws two right hands, drops him with a huge right hand, finishes him on the ground. What adds fuel to the fire is Rashad saying, Brennan grabbed the cage. Oh, was, he grabbed the cage. Should have been penalized point. And this is the dude that you still train with. This dude. <laughs> really? Really. Rashad completely neglects you in training for a fight that he said well I can't train either guy but he's training your opponent more than you and then after the fight he talks shit about you saying you should have lost the fight and this is the dude that you still train with wow Greg Jackson's camp for being you know as like competitive of a fight camp that it is they talk so much shit about each other. They just... Oh, man. I would not train at Greg Jackson's. I hit that, you know... Wow. I, I've seen close fight camps, and, you know, that's why I, lo I pick a lot of fighters at Rufus Sport, which... Because... Um, they're not like that. Uh, there's not really anybody at Rufus Sport that would go against somebody like that and say talk shit about anybody else, even if they were on the opposite team or the same team on opposite fighters on a show. It just that's bullshit. Uh, this season, you know, I don't like Rashad even less than I already like him, which is none. So, that was an interesting episode. Um, like I said, I, I knew Shaw was pretty good going into it. Um, some people... Uh, some people... Um, Mike, specifically. Mike, you didn't believe, huh? Didn't believe that he could possibly make it to the finals, but... Um, you know, Mio Dread's probably still not a believer, but we might make him one when he gets to the finals. Um, interested to see who's going to take Mitrione's spot, because he's really not a fighter. So, there you go. Um, good episode. Good episode. Stay metal.